here is a very difficult logarithmic equation where we are going to apply change of base formula to solve. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and especially those who are providing brilliant questions. This question comes from one of our subscribers from Bangladesh. We need to solve the logarithmic equation given here. Very interesting and difficult question. Let us see how do we solve such a problem. The question here is log to the base x of 2 times log to the base x over 16 of 2 equals to log to the base x over 64 of 2. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, the strategy which I'm going to adopt here is first to change the base, right? So I hope you remember the formula for change of base, which is if I have log to the base a of, let's say, x, then we can change the base to any other, let's say, b, by using this particular formula, right? Correct. Now, this formula can also be extended by changing the base to x itself, right? So, we could also change the base to x itself, that is, log to the base x of x. You see that? And that gives you another interesting form, and which is that we could write down this as also 1 over log to the base x of a. You see that? So, because log x of x is 1. So, we are going to use these formulas to solve this particular equation. I hope this concept is clear, right? So, let's rewrite the question, which is log to the base x of 2 times log to the base x over 16 of 2 equals to log to the base x over 64 of 2, right? So, this is called the reciprocal identity and therefore, I can now rewrite this as 1 over log to the base 2 of x, right? Times 1 over log to the base 2 of x by 16, which is 1 over log 2 of x over 64. You get the idea. So, we have written this as a reciprocal now, right? Now, we can expand this. So, we have 1 over log to the base 2 of x times, see, this can be written as log to the base 2 of x minus, I mean, because division, right? log to the base six, 2 of 16. And on the right hand side, we have 1 over log to the base 2 of x minus log to the base 2 of 64. Is this part clear to you? So, here we have used the formula log to the base a of x over y can be written as log to the base a of x minus log to the base a of y. Okay? Now, we can multiply both sides by the denominators. You see that. So, we we'll avoid a fraction type of an equation. So, let me do it on a fresh page. So, we are going to cross multiply. So, basically, when we do that, we get log to the base 2 of x. Let's go back and check what it was. So, let me rewrite this log to the base 2 of 16 as what? 16 is 2 to the power of 4, right? So, so let me uh, first write this as 1 over log to the base 2 of x 
times let me squeeze it in 1 over log to the base 2 of x minus log to the base 2 of 16 is 2 to the power of 4 right so that means minus 4 correct equals to 1 over log to the base 2 of x minus 2 to the power of what is 64? 6, right? So, 6 here, right? So, now we can go to the next page and rewrite this equation. So, I am cross multiplying. So, I get log to the base 2 of x minus 6 equals to log to the base 2 of x times log to the base 2 of x minus 4. Is that clear to you, right? So, so, this denominator here becomes here, right? And that denominator comes on this side. So, cross multiply, right? Then you get this equation. And now to solve this equation, let us do a substitution that let log to the base 2 of x equals to, let's say, y. So, we can now rewrite the equation as y minus 6 equals to y times y minus 4. Is that clear to you? Now, this becomes a quadratic equation y, right? Bringing all the terms together and expanding, we get y square minus 4y and bringing here minus y plus 6. That gives us 0 equals to y square minus 5y plus 6. And now we can have 3 and 2, right? So, we could factor this as y minus 3 times y minus 2, correct? So, you see well, how we have simplified this equation and got two solutions. So, that means y is equal to 3 or y is equal to 2, correct? Since we know that y is actually log to the base 2 of x, so that is equal to 3. So, substituting back log to the base 2 of x, we kind of get our solution. And so, we can now write this as x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. On this side, we get x equals to 2 to the power of 2, correct? So, we get x as equal to 8 or x as equal to 4. Is that correct? So, in this particular equation, as you can very clearly see, x value as 8 or 4. So, that becomes our answer, right? So, our answer here is x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 8. Is that clear to you? So, you can always substitute back these values and check your result. I hope you find this interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your view. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.